everybody, and welcome to the Roaring Twenties. Yes, it is the Twenties again. It seems like an old-timey joke. Yeah, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm Jeff Goldblum now, but it is technically the Twenties. So, partial reps and body weight movements—they're great. It's awesome. Some people will say partial reps are bad. It's not always the case. It depends on what you're doing. If you're lifting weights and you're you're overloading the weight, and it's more you can say curl, but you're just it's pointless, it's stupid, don't do that. But, in the sense of like, it is a, uh, if you do full red range and it's great, but then towards the end you're losing it, but you can still pump out a few little partial things, as long as you're not hurting yourself, forcing it, it's good, it can help. Also helps in certain things like if you're doing a body weight squat. Now, normally you're, you're upright and you would squat down, and they say you gotta get parallel and go lower, that's great. Some people, like myself, I don't have great legs for that. It hurts when I do super heavy squats and I go super low. But there are methods. You can still do forms of squats and when it comes to body weight so you don't have any extra weight. Sometimes just maintaining not fully standing up and not fully going down. Just doing that little bit of partial range. You can almost force more tension and feel it more in your thighs, your quads and everything, your glutes. And uh, so instead of going, all the way down you're just kind of like pulsing that helps and again if you did a whole set of say 25 reps like that and then threw in 10 more and it was just a little pulse you're gonna feel that burn for sure and it's good it's great so you can apply that too to body weight movements of any kind and workouts whether you're a beginner or advanced so if you're a beginner and you're not used to doing anything or if you're just getting back into it say if you had a simple workout where it's like 10 to 20 push-ups you know like a little circuit 10 to 20 push-ups and then 10 to 20 squats and then 10 to 20 dips and 10 to 20 more lunges or squats something like that you can apply those partial reps to go a little bit faster still feel that burn and then you say you take your 30 seconds rest now you can add on to that circuit and do it a few more times and just keep repeating that it's going to get you a workout not only cardio wise but body weight wise you will build strength and endurance which is great muscle endurance is great that's going to help you in the long run in so many ways not just in working out in fitness but in life and it's very helpful to use those movements effectively. If you know that, say, you're bending over at work and picking something up, the more you're kind of in tune with your own body, the more you're going to have less injuries just in day to day picking it up. You're going to think, oh, maybe I can tense this a little bit more. I think the partial rep will help you get that mind muscle connection more, which is important. Not everybody's good at that, not, it takes time to develop, but it's very helpful. So, in doing those workouts, again, you could apply the same thing to if you had a little bit of weight, say it's a cat or it's a, uh, it's a water bottle, and you're holding it and you're doing a shoulder press and you're going all the way up, that's good, and if you're holding it this way, you're going up, that's good, you get that full range of motion, but sometimes you want to stop not all the way down and depress, so you can feel that tension and you're just doing a little partial rep, you're still gonna feel it. So it's a good finisher, it's a good for anyone, even advanced, like I said myself. Maybe I can do 40 pull-ups in a row. I'm very advanced, I've been doing it a long time, but sometimes just making it a little bit of a partial rep, I'm still controlling the movement. I'm not just flailing around, but I'm not gonna hurt myself, and I can get, even if it seems artificial because you're getting more reps, you are still putting the tension into that muscle in your body. So it's fantastic. I will put a little extra bonus workout at the end of this video. You can kind of follow along or you just will see the movements so you know how to do them. And then from there, like I said, it's going to be circuit. So just do the circuit as many times as you want. Thanks, everybody. Like, comment, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. Appreciate you. Bye.